Hi, I'm Steve Stops, and I'm here to talk to you today about Droplets, our brand new puzzle game coming out on all platforms you can possibly imagine. Really excited about Droplets because it's come out from our studio. Anybody who works here can come up with a new game idea and then we put it into development. This is one of those games. This is a game that was developed by a guy called James Parker based on his original idea and we put it into production and now it's out for you to buy. It. Hi, I'm Corey Vandenberg. I'm lead designer on Droplets. When you start out the game, you've got a load of dials. They've each got a path cut into them. What you're trying to do is turn those dials around, create paths from the droppers at the top to the collectors at the bottom, so that these little blobs of liquid called droplets make it all the way through the path and to the bottom. And then when you get a path, the path blows up, more dials fall into place, and you do it over again. The game has an incredible amount of depth. You start off trying to create one path. You then try to create two paths. When you get pretty good at it, you're making like four, five, six paths, and then you have the chain reactions. And chain reactions are when you create a path, the path blows up, new dials fall into place, and a new path is created from them falling into place. It's not what I would call a cutting edge game, we're not breaking new technology, but it's a return to the classic puzzle games of old. You know, remember those hours you used to spend playing Tetris, rotating little blocks, fit them into place and even when you finish playing the game hours later you'd still close your eyes and see those little blocks falling in your mind. Well, Droplets has exactly that same effect for me. Whenever I play it, you get into the game and you seem to find hours just drift by it and before you know it, whenever you're not playing Droplets, you're still thinking about it and making those kind of parts and networks in your mind. Features we've got in Droplets, we have four different game modes. Um, the classic mode is kind of like your standard game, like a tetris -y kind of thing, where the board just speeds up over time, and that's pretty much what you got. Um, when you're playing that, you can unlock different sizes of boards as well, and as the board gets bigger, you can create more paths from playing on that board. We have the Zendurance mode, which is like if you just want to play for a bit longer, you want to kind of capture that Zen, and that's the name, Zendurance. You can play the game, it doesn't speed up, so you can just play it as long as you want. You pick your favorite theme. Power-up mode, you get power-ups, like the name would suggest. Um, these fall into the path like the droplets do, you try to collect them, when you collect them you get a special ability, like um, you get bombs, the bombs make it so you can blow up difficult parts of the board. A super bomb, same thing, if you have a really difficult board, you can blow the whole board up and clear it and go again, you know, fresh. You've got a slowdown, which is really useful, if you get the board going really fast, you can then slow it down again, it's kind of like your bullet time, you know, it slows the whole thing down and you can just turn dials a bit slower until it runs out. And the other one we've got is the freeze one, which completely stops the board. Nice, like, freeze effect over the whole thing. And then you can just go and turn the dials as you want because the droplets aren't falling in at all at that point. So that one's really good, really useful. Um, the other mode we have, uh, after power-up mode, we have the infection mode. This is probably the hardest one to unlock in the whole game. Uh, in this mode, you've still got the power-ups, and they come up, they kind of come into their own in this mode because uh, the whole board is becoming infected with this like nasty infection that's just on the dials, really slimy, like green stuff. What you got to do is try to clear all that green stuff to get it so that you can create the path without causing too much trouble because when they're infected, they turn really slowly. As the board becomes more infected, it tilts and kind of wobbles and when you get rid of the infection, that wobble kind of dissipates and it becomes less, less tilty. It's really, really cool effect. It's really interesting for me that um, this was the first game that I saw in production when I joined the studio a year ago and I, I was wandering around and you'd suddenly see it being played on everybody's desk and it was immediately one of those games that you could see people all over the world playing when it's supposed to be working or whether they've got a few minutes to kill. It would be always one of those games that you could just imagine people sitting at desk playing. I see Droplets as a game really for it's a casual game for hardcore gamers where it's more like the kind of game that you're going to pick up in between playing bigger box games and just spend a bit of time in between to kind of chill out and relax. For me it's just a brilliant fun game that is hugely addictive, instantly accessible and once you pick it up and once you get into it you just can't put it back down again.